is uh, Sam Ainsworth. I'm currently Vice Principal at Chelsea Academy in charge of the curriculum. We've recently started using uh, Smart Parent mainly because we've tapped into to using Smart Homework and it was a really good way of us uh, to share all the information about our homework with our parents. So we used to have another digital solution for our homework. Due to how expensive it was, we decided not to run with that solution anymore. So we've been using Real Smart and using Google for a number of years now, and so we decided to use Smart Homework alongside that. We tried to tackle it from a number of different angles. Um, at the start of the year, we have what's called a Learning Coach Consultation Day, where all of the parents from all of the students come in and have a coaching meeting with uh, their form tutors effectively. And we were able to give them hard copies of letters telling them how to get into smart parent and smart uh, homework and had pin numbers and, and usernames, etc. Uh, into that. We also emailed all of the parents so they had something digitally. We also text all the parents so that we could tell them about smart parent just so we were coming from all angles uh, and eventually we'd get another hit from them. The reaction has been really, really positive. Because we're using Smart Parent now, we used to have a solution for, for homework and it was just for homework. We never had any digital solution that are, I guess, equivalent to Smart Parent. Um, the parents are really pleased that they can see the achievements and the behaviours of our students alongside the homeworks, alongside our school calendar, um, and alongside the timetable for the day. So they're able to see everything in one place. Um, and they're really happy they do it on their phone, it's nice and easy. So, yeah, they're really pleased. Probably the unexpected benefits that we've had is um, attendance to parents' events has probably been slightly better. Maybe they're having more access to the calendar without having to go and find it um, or without subscribing to something online. Um, that could be a reason. Um, for Year 11, so for parents of Year 11, we put lots of revision materials now um, into, the, into the documents area. So we have folders of our revision materials and our success folder, as we call it, for Year 11, so that the parents can access the documents that we're sharing with the students. Um, and can support them with their revision. So that's been really successful with Year 11. We probably spend a bit more time with both staff and parents talking about Smart Parent um, and driving it home a little bit more. We sent all of the hard letters out first um, and we had quite a good uptake initially, but it wasn't until we emailed and we contacted the parents digitally with lots of links which made it a lot easier rather than putting a URL into a letter. Actually putting them onto an email and, and let them click into things was, the success rate was far better. So I think um, initially if we had all of that ready to go on the, on the first day of, of, of the September term, I think it would have been a slightly more successful update.